Hello everyone, David from IT Solutions Network here. In this video, we are going to be talking about Ubiquiti Gateway Max multi one failover options. I'll explain how it works, what are some of the limitations I think you want to know before deciding to buy and use that option. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website, which you can find in the description. Now let's talk about multi one failover option of Ubiquiti Gateway Max and how it works and what we need to know before we use it. We have the topology of my lab. When I'm running the Sophos Firewall Ubiquiti Gateway Max packet capture device, access point, computer, and some of the remote devices, which I'm not running them, but they exist. I have internet connection with the real ISP connection connected to the Sophos Firewall. Then the Sophos Firewall has two dedicated interfaces working as ISP connections for the gateway. So for the gateway, we have public IPs, as you can see here, and those public IPs are not real IPs from the real world. They are from the Sophos emulating the ISP. Basically, they both have the internet connection. And if I shut down the primary interface, Gateway Max will still have the access to the internet using the secondary interface. The reason I'm capturing traffic here is to show you what Ubiquiti Gateway is doing to understand if the internet is still there. First of all, the way Gateway Max understands what to ping to understand if the internet is there, first is pinging the pingui.com. Pinging this will resolve the IP addresses which Ubiquiti Gateway Max has to ping. Now that means that the, once it resolves the IP addresses, it constantly pings these addresses. And if at some point after the resolving the IP addresses, your DNS service failed from the ISP, your Gateway Max will not understand that the internet is gone because internet is still there, it's just your DNS doesn't work. Now, if that happens before resolving the IP address, then yeah, Gateway Max might understand that the primary internet has failed. And it constantly pings Google DNS and the Cloudflare DNS. And if we don't get the responses from this server, from both of them, Ubiquiti will decide that, okay, primary internet is gone, let me fail over to the secondary internet connection. And that's what we are going to emulate here. Now, to understand that my laptop has the internet here, I'm pinging apple.com. I'm also capturing the traffic between Sophos and Gateway to see the ping packets. So let me switch the screen. Now let's switch to my laptop and show you how to block this access. So first of all, let's go to the rules and policies. And this is the Sophos firewall I was talking about. This is the firewall between real ISP and the gateway. And this device is providing the IP addresses to the gateway max emulating the ISP. It will have the internet because this firewall is allowing the access to the gateway max towards the internet. Let's go into rules and policies. And here I have one rule prepared to block primary interface IP, which is this IP here, 12.34.54.100. Now 54 is the primary IP and 53 is the secondary IP. I'm blocking this IP going towards these IPs, Google DNS and Cloudflare DNS. And once I block this, we'll see how Gateway Max understood that the internet is gone and has to switch over to the secondary ISP. Now let's come back here. You see this rule? And here's the ping request. My primary interface, which is 54.100, is constantly pinging the apple.com which is this IP, and then Google DNS and the Cloudflare DNS. I'm not pinging these IPs. The Gateway Max is doing that. I'm not running any ping towards these IPs. So if we block the access towards this IP, even though we'll have the internet, the Gateway Max will think there is no internet anymore. So to demonstrate that, I'm gonna start pinging the Google DNS as well. And you'll see that the, while Google DNS will fail, apple.com will still be reachable because I'm not shutting down the internet, I'm only shutting down the access to the DNS servers, which Gateway Max is pinging. Let's run the Google DNS ping and I'm going to enable now. As soon as we we'll lose the ping on a Google IP address, that means the DNS servers are blocked for the Gateway Max. And you'll see that the apple.com is still pingable, okay? It's taken into the deployment and now it's deployed. You see, apple.com is still pingable, but the Google DNS not. Now, once the gateway realizes that, okay, the primary internet has failed, let me fail over to the secondary interface. That's when we see Google DNS is still pingable. That's probably gonna take around 10 to 12 seconds because we are missing about five to six ping and each ping timeout on the windows is like two seconds, right? So let me stop this. We missed one, two, three, five pings about 10 seconds. And if you go into the dashboard of the Unify, we'll see that the primary internet interface doesn't have uptime anymore because it's down actually. And if you go into dashboard and switch to the WAN1, you see primary internet service is down since one minute ago, but the secondary interface is still there and will still have the access. By the way, right now, my family is watching the movie on Apple TV. They didn't even notice that the internet was gone for 10 seconds because first of all, Apple TV probably is downloading some of the movies and streaming after 
that and the second 10 seconds is not much if you're mo watching movie or showing the audio i'm pretty sure you have buffer of like 20 or maybe even 30 seconds and the idea has to be gone for at least one minute to notice that uh, you don't have the internet anymore for youtube or for spotify or things like that now of course if you're clicking the different links and it's not like you're sitting and reading article then you will notice that for 10 seconds or 12 seconds internet was gone but it came back using the secondary interface now let me enable this primary internet by disabling the sophos rule i'm going to disable this rule and as soon as it will be deployed the unify will understand that the primary internet is back and it will switch over to the primary interface now we don't exactly see which interface is being used on the dashboard but you can actually check for example activity right if i go and refresh this i can see that the activity on my primary interface is really low so that means we are still using the secondary interface and if i go into secondary okay there's a zero zero so probably we'll update it right now. Let me refresh again. Okay, now I have upload 55 megabits per second and one megabit download. And when is zero zero? That means we are using the primary interface right now. And this is how internet failover works on Ubiquiti Gateway Max. Now, since the primary interface is up and running again, we have 100% again here. If you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment sections. Take care.